Welcome to the TYPO3 screencast Embedding Video and Audio Files. In this video we are going to show you how to embed a flash video into your website, add an external video from YouTube and embed an audio file and customize the audio player by using some custom parameters. To achieve all of this we use TYPO3 in version 4.5 with the introduction package and the TYPO3 standard content element type media which was called Multimedia in TYPO3 versions before 4.3. We make no use of additional extensions. We start by creating a new content element. In the tab Special Elements we select the type Media. At first we want to embed a flash video. In the tab Media, in the field Path or URL, we can either enter the name of the file directly or select a file by the icon on the right of the field. I select a file I have uploaded to the file list before. How to upload files into the file list we show you in the TYPO3 video for editors Managing Files File List. Some further settings can be necessary. As we want to embed a flash film without an integrated player, we leave Use Player enabled. We set Media Type to Video. Thereby a video player will be displayed in the front end. In the fields Media Width and Media Height, you can set the size of the video. In doing so, you should take consideration of the space available in the front end and choose a size that fits the original video proportions to not to deform it. Therefore for my video I choose a width of 400 pixel and a height of 300 pixel. By the render type Auto, TYPO3 tries to achieve the best possible embedding into the source code. But there is also the possibility to force a certain embedding. Furthermore, you can set additional parameters. By clicking Add New Media Parameter, you are offered a list of typical video functions like Autoplay, Loop or Allow Full Screen. These can also be combined with each other. I choose Autoplay and the Full Screen option. Now we can take a look at the video in the front end. The video is displayed in the correct width and height, it starts automatically and I can optionally switch to full screen. If the autoplay option is not set, some videos might start with a black screen instead of the preview. In this case, the option Preview Video might help. I set it to Value Entry and in the field Value I insert the image name. Make sure that the name of the image matches that of the video, except for the file type. Furthermore, you must ensure that your image is stored in the same file list directory like the video. Otherwise, 
The image will not be displayed. Even faster is the embedding of an external video, for example from YouTube. This also offers the advantage that you do not need to store big video files on your own server. And users can watch the videos immediately, without long loading time. In order to show you the embedding of an external video, I create a new special content element type media. In the field path or URL, I insert the address of the video YouTube offers by clicking on Share. It is important to disable Use Player for this external video. We could also set a width and a height, but I want to embed the video the way YouTube provides it, and therefore I save it right away. Finally, we want to embed an audio file. That is why I create a new content element of the type media again. In the field path or URL, I now select an audio file I have uploaded into the file list before. In this case, I leave Use Player enabled. The media type I have to set to Audio, of course. As render type, I leave Auto. Let's check the mp3 file in the front end. I want to customize my player further. Therefore, at custom parameters, I can insert special flash variables in a plain text field. For example, colors for labels and icons. Name of the interpreter and the piece of music. as well as further settings like autoplay, loop, display of the remaining time instead of duration, or to switch off the animation of the audio player so that it is opened right from the start. Now let's check the embedding of the audio file again.
the colors and other settings are changed as I wanted. Thank you for watching. For further Typo3 screencasts, please visit typo3.org/videos.